Hi guys, I got an update here on my fuel injection pump for the Pagora for the M127 engine uh, for the 230 and 230SL engine. Uh, I'm almost done with that pump. Uh, I was able to prime it today and test it. Uh, uh, results are pretty impressive. I'm really pleased with what I got. Uh, Right now all I have to do is just uh, finish the temperature compensator, barometric compensator is working pretty well. Uh, time will tell how well this uh, will uh, work on an engine in a car later on, but so far it's reacting to pressure changes pretty good. Um, I got the new filter, new filter coming, so don't worry about that rusted piece, I had to put something there for now. Um, I got fresh oil in there at the proper level. Uh, I won't have to show you that, I guess. But uh, anyway, that's 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 my setup. I uh, I had the tubes uh, straight up, although I can't tape and put the tubes up and hold them and all this because it's such a mess. You wouldn't want to be in this garage. It's it smells like diesel shop uh, if, because that's what I'm using for testing. As you can see, uh, all the uh, cylinders are firing pretty well the same. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with the results at the moment. So, um, okay, I'm going to show you how I've done it. I just used the drill uh, for testing. I mean, for the final stages, of course. Um, so I said, let's see if I can, if I can reproduce that. Uh, I got uh, what my setup is basically is just a normal jerry can with some um, hoses, fuel hoses, of course. Jerry can is filled with diesel, uh, just a little more than halfway up. Uh, I'm picking up the fuel uh, from the cans going to the to the pump. The pump that's the uh, 300 um, SEL pump from the 126. This pump is pressing in this um, uh, setup right here with the um, rebuild regulator and everything. I'm pushing around 11, 10, 11. Actually, we'll see because I just charged the battery, so I, I will be. I have full 12 volts, 12.5. Before I was a little lower, and I was still running um, 10 psi into the pump. We'll see anyway. Well, that's that's my gauge, you know, and stuff. I have all those paper towels and, and stuff all over the place because uh, right now there's, uh, I hope there's no more leaks, but originally when I set it up, you know, I spilled some diesel here, there, all over, so it's much easier to clean up this way. Anyway, uh, enough mumbling. Uh, let's stir this thing up. So first I will, I think I will put this on the, um, I will put the phone on the tripod so you can see the whole um, thing happening all right uh, maybe like this zoom it up a bit I don't know if I can bring it closer uh, okay just about this maybe like that okay uh, so what I'm doing now is just uh, connecting a, a lipo battery to drive it I, I made temporary hookups here and see if I can... Okay, so I'm picking up the fuel. Uh, right now we are just about, you know what, let me show you. Let me show you that that's gonna be better, I guess. Um, I'm um, running it off a lipo battery, three cell lipo battery. Uh, the pump through the filter. I put the filter just in case. I didn't know how, how this thing gonna look like when I when I first start so but the fuel looks pretty clean there was no contaminants I, I must have done a half decent job doing it before anyway as you can see we are running just over uh, 11 11 and a half psi through the system now without pump uh, without the injection pump turning uh, that's that's what we're providing that's what the regulator is, uh, is setting the fuel uh, pressure at so um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. Uh, that's where it's supposed to be from from what I read. So let's see if I can if I can crank this thing up or maybe I'll try to hold it. I don't know how well this will work. Anyway, I use the drill, so I use as you can. Oh, let me let me maybe go on the other side. Um, no, it's not really. I, I can I have to hold this so. 
You know what, I will try to set up a tripod on the other side. See if you can... Um, you can see it this way. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot at the moment. Okay, let me let me go and, and uh, start the drill. So, as you can see, all of them are going up equally. I'm very happy with that setup. I can uh, speed it up a little bit and stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, let me speed this thing up. I guess next stage is, uh, well anyway, I won't be boring you with this. Uh, next stage is to, uh, to actually set this up and then measure it again. As I ran this few times already, uh, I, I said it, I, I get pretty equal flow through uh, all the cylinders. Uh, and I'm happy with that, but I want to I want to set up one final test to make sure I'm dead on before I put the pump on the on the engine. And as you can see, um, the engine is uh, just waiting. I got the ignition there. I hope to uh, make some progress uh, on it tomorrow. I just didn't have time uh, to touch it. I received it yesterday. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, you know, hold myself back. I had to put it on the engine. <laughs> That's it. Uh, very happy about it. And uh, I also got some parts uh, in the mail today for my original ignition, for the stock ignition, as I plan to rebuild it. As I said, I will have both ignitions fully functional. Um, okay, and here is an empty slot, just waiting for the, just waiting for the pump. Okay. I guess that's enough. Maybe if there are any questions, I can I can post a more detailed video of my setup or anything else you guys may want to see. Uh, thanks for thanks for looking it up and um, hope you enjoyed that little update.